Hello, I'm Jordan Guth, and I'm here to tell you what's new on the Soundstage Network of Sites for September 15th. Wait, you don't know what the Soundstage Network of Sites is? The Soundstage Network is the largest group of online audio magazines. Each site focuses on a different niche of high-end audio, providing reviews, editorials, features, and more. Before getting into the updates, I want to remind you we have a giveaway this month. Martin Logan is providing one lucky individual with a pair of just-released Motion Foundation B2 bookshelf speakers, which are valued at $7.99 in the United States. For details on how to enter, visit www.soundstagen.com to go to our newsletter sign-up page. Now, here's what's new. Over on Soundstage Australia, reviewer Tom Waters examines the loudspeaker driving powers of ElectroCompunet's flagship AW800M power amplifier. As a power amp, it's rated at 300 watts per channel into 8 ohms, and as a monoblock, it's rated at 800 watts. Plus, reviewer Stephen Pauly ties this system with the loom of the new Crystal Cable Diamond Series 2 cables. On Soundstage Global, we have an article on the development of the legendary Bose 901 loudspeaker that was first released in 1968. Soundstage writer Matt Bonaccio spoke with Sherwin Greenblatt, the man who is responsible for the design of this iconic loudspeaker. And although this next thing is not online just yet, it will be at the end of the month. Coverage of the Hi-Fi show live from Ascot Racecourse in England. It will be held from September 29th to October 1st, and Soundstage Jonathan Gorse and Doug Schneider will be there covering it. On Soundstage Ultra, senior editor Jason Thorpe reviews Crystal Cable's art series Monet speaker cables. Jason loved the way these ultra-expensive cables sounded and looked in his system. A large chunk of the enjoyment I received from the Monet was their clean, sparkling appearance, he writes. I could clearly hear the improvements in recorded detail and air around the instruments. The gains in definition of recording space alone verged on breathtaking. On Soundstage Access, Tom Moon reviews Music Hall Audio's MMF Mark I turntable with pre-mounted Ortofon OM5E cartridge. Tom says this affordable turntable did a lot of things right. Time and coherence were good, its rotational speed was very steady with no noticeable wow or flutter. In his monthly unboxing feature, Dennis Berger gives some clues as to what to expect from his upcoming review on the Tiny Amster BT2 integrated amplifier from Tangent, an electronics brand based in Denmark. Over on Soundstage Hi-Fi, we have a review of the Technics SL G700 M2 streaming SACD player and DAC by Roger Cano. Roger praised this beautiful component's very reasonable price, wealth of useful features, fantastic build quality, and excellent audio performance. Also, Hegel Music System's H600 integrated amplifier DAC, which Philip O'Day reviewed on Soundstage Hi-Fi on August 1st, has been named a recommended reference component. On Soundstage Simplify, Tom Weitzel has a review of Volumio's Integro streaming integrated amplifier. Based in Florence, Italy, Volumio is best known for their open-source music management software that DIYers use in home-built streamers and servers. But as this little gem of an amplifier shows, Volumio also has some great hardware. On Soundstage Experience, you could read a thought-provoking column by senior editor Joseph Taylor, who wonders how the mortality of classic rock acts like the Eagles, Fleetwood Mac, and Steely Dan will impact interest in high-end audio. On Soundstage Solo, senior editor Jeffrey Morrison reviews JBL's True Pro 2 True Wireless Earphones. They sound really good, have great noise cancelling, and are really comfortable, Jeffrey writes. In closing, I want to remind you to check out soundstage.com to find all the new article links. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, we're at youtube.com slash soundstage network where we have new videos posted every few days. And don't forget, head to soundstagen.com to enter in the draw for the Martin Logan Motion Foundation B2 bookshelf speakers. Thanks for watching and see you on October 1st.